There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record in Linux. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro, and that's saying a lot. Kaden Live. Hi, 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 hi. Very good. I figured as long as I was doing some tank maintenance down here anyway, that I would uh, provide a little bit of an update. This is December 2009. Um, you can see what the pond does to algae eaters. And these algae eaters, these big ones you see in here, you got one there, one there, one clamped on the side there. We got a few big ones in here. Um, those are about, uh, 10 inches in length last I checked. Yes, uh, when we were bringing them in from the pond in the fall, I actually did, uh, take a tape measure up to one of them, so. One of them was 10 inches, and, um, they're all roughly about the same length, the giant ones. Who knows, maybe they might breed. Um, these ones over here, these are about five inches in length, five, six, some of the bigger ones might be about seven, I don't know, but um, these were less than an inch when we put them in in the spring, and uh, now they're pretty huge. Here we see zipping back and forth the silver dollar fish, and those were pretty tiny when we put them in, they were about the size of dimes, now they're bigger than, well, a silver dollar. We can see the uh, sword tails. Some of these, once they fully mature, can have body lengths of six inches. And sometimes the tail can even match, producing a total of a one foot long sword tail. Although I don't get as many of those as I'd like. Usually the tail's about half as long as the body, unfortunately. But sometimes I get the full, and that's pretty amazing when I do. <clears throat> so right now, these sword tails are pretty huge. They're a lot bigger than your average sword tail would be. Um, depending on their age, because some of them are juvenile in here. Um, anywhere from 3 to 7 inches. That, of course, includes the uh, sword on the tail. These are still your larger than average. Um, here's my monster size uh, pond raised goldfish. Biggest goldfish in here is about a foot long or more. Our big pure gold one. Um, hopefully we'll see him. Huh, there he is, all the way in the back there. Our next biggest one, I think, is that big ass white one over there. <clears throat> you can see his tail, him, her, whatever it is. This sucker's huge, is at least a foot, maybe longer from head to the tip of his uh, tail fins there. Massive. These tanks you're looking at are pretty big. And I just put in this new, new filtration system here to supplement that one. <clears throat> that tank there is pretty huge. And then we move up to the top tank, <clears throat> which um, we've gotten to look very pretty with a variety of plants. We got Creeping Charlie and something called Hornward, I think, and I don't know what the heck this is here with the funny brown top. Uh, we got some albino catfish and huge, huge, huge guppies and swords and a bunch of things. Of course, we got algae eaters in just about every tank, so... This is turning out to be a really spectacular looking tank. We have a mixture of uh, real and fake plants. Most of them are real. We have a few fake ones in there. Mainly just to, for, um, for cosmetics and for added protection for babies that are born so uh, that there's more places to hide. This is just a breeder tank for sword tails. You can see a little baby one up, on, up there on that rock. Got all the rocks in there that we, we can have so that they have plenty of places to hide. It is still a bit messy down here, and most of our tanks are deactivated, but just a quick 
overview of our facilities and you know how far it goes and everything not all the tanks are out and of all the tanks that are out um, not all of them are activated but we are going to be getting on more of a shall we say energy efficient uh, power system we're, we're slowly doing that and then we could have more and more tanks um, activated as we do that um, things like this whisper pump down here got to get more of those those are only four watts very energy efficient <clears throat> These new uh, per tank filtration systems that we've been getting are each only a few watts and um, the, they pump a lot and they do really good filtration. They're very low energy. We want to replace most of our lights, see most of our fluorescent, we want to replace with, um, want to mount up some energy saver bulbs and um, the only thing we might be stuck with for fluorescent is um, the uh, ultraviolet because um, our breeding techniques and our plants and things like that really highly depend on uh, UV light. So Here's uh, mostly guppies. There are a bunch of swords. <clears throat> more goldfish in there. More in here. I don't want this video to be too long. So, And of course here's the, uh, the turtle and the uh, lake catfish up in there. And I gave them um, a supplement. Um, filtration system and to see that big black tube looking thing in the back there I know there's some glare that's the secondary filtration system it's really stirring up a lot of current and um, then of course we still have our regular makeshift riggy there trickling down with our own little filter hanging at the top and <clears throat> that's using a very energy efficient pump as well okay Huge algae eaters and frisky silver dollar fish and whatever else. Algae eaters are pretty huge. They swim around like sharks. Those algae eaters that appear to be tiny are actually about five inches in length. Some of them are bigger, some of them a little smaller. These huge ones are ten plus inches. Jeebus, algae eater friends, eh? Tail shark over there. Well, not to say that he's little per se, but <laughs> smaller than a lot of other things in there. <clears throat> <clears throat> 